It's a bizarre story that's capturing headlines. Human remains found scattered across Long Island. Four people charged so far, but not with murder. All now wearing GPS ankle monitors, but no bail required under New York state law. Horrific, far too close to home, and just a shame. I feel really sorry for the families. This case is causing a firestorm of comments on social media. One follower wrote, throw body parts all over Long Island, released back on the streets, no bail, shaking my head. Another commented, released, insane. Also, released, body parts, concealing a corpse, where's the justice? Experts say bail reform was meant to prevent people accused of low-level and nonviolent crimes from getting stuck in jail until their day in court simply because they couldn't afford bail. The law has already been amended twice to add additional crimes to the list of bail eligible offenses. And some are wondering whether that could happen again because of this case. It's been a political volleyball. Newsday Albany Bureau Chief Yancey Roy says right now state lawmakers are focused on one thing, the budget. Bail reform could get another look after that, but he says legal experts say this case is unique in that the top charge, concealing a human corpse, is usually used in addition to some other higher charge like murder, which would require bail. Keep in mind, prosecutors have said that additional charges could be added, and the Suffolk District Attorney said the case is still being actively investigated. When they go forward, that's the debate you're gonna have. On the one hand, people are gonna say, this is a ghastly crime, uh, shouldn't we add it to the list? And other people are gonna say, well, of course it's ghastly, but often it's connected to murder. So do we need to uh, act right now? And we'll see how that play out, plays out. In the meantime, Long Islanders in and around Babylon, where many of the body parts were discovered, are left waiting and wondering what will happen next. I think it's upsetting to me and a lot of other people who live around here that a crime with that level of violence can have somebody back out on the street. The next day, I don't think it makes any sense. In Babylon, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.